Another example that we're going to look at in ST5 simulation is radiation loads. And so again, we'll create a new study. We have an assembly here of just two, two blocks, basically, with one block open on two ends. Mostly so you can kind of see what's going on. You'll notice the blocks don't connect. This is the case where connectors do not need to be used. Now, you will still get a warning that says if you don't, they won't transfer unless it is a radiation uh, load. And in this case, it is radiation, or we're going to use radiation, uh, if you will. The first thing to point out, too, is that for radiation, uh, when we send this to FEMAP, it's looking for uh, a body temperature. Under body loads, if you set the body temperature, uh, in this case, we'll just leave it at the ambient temperature. That's where these uh, particular components start their temperature at, and it just looks for that value. So we'll go ahead and define that, and then I'll uncheck it so it uh, turns off. Then we're going to uh, go to radiation, and with radiation, you're going to have a few more options. Um, we support two types of options. And, you know, as I, as I talk about radiation, its definition is basically that it's a thermal radiation, um, which is heat transfer due to what they call electromagnetic radiation emitted by a surface or a body. Um, and then also it's important to know that radiation loads are distributed uniformly across the selected geometry uh, that, you, that you use. Now, actually, before we do radiation, Let's, let's heat up a wall. Uh, let's say there's some heat coming from this inside face. And I'll set it at, uh, well, we'll just leave it at, a, at 100 watts. Then I'm going to uh, do radiation again. And in this case, as I said, we support two types, radiation to space and enclosed radiation. In this case, we're going to use the enclosed uh, radiation. Um, surface emissivity, emissivity uh, if it's set to 1, the best way to explain it is if it's, ex it's set to 1, it means it's capable of absorbing or transmitting 100% of the, of the radiation. Now, in most cases, most materials won't absorb 100%, but in this case, I'm just going to leave it set at 1. Another thing that we talked about was one cavity, two cavities, or more. And in this case, we only have a single cavity. So I'm going to leave that, uh, leave that as is. But I am going to, uh, am going to put that it, can, uh, that, it, uh, that it can be shaded by other surfaces, meaning this surface can shade some of these surfaces that I, that I select. So when I click on the OK, I'm going to identify these inside faces and define those as radiation uh, surfaces or loads. I'm then going to do another uh, radiation definition. Again, we're using enclosed. And then this time, it's going to be the block. In this block, I'm going to set it as can shade surfaces. So when I select it, actually, I guess I could have used feature to select it. Um, it's going to let the system know that it can shade other surfaces. And that will speed up uh, the results um, to some degree. Now, once that's uh, completed, then we're ready to uh, run our solve. Again, we're going to get this, your solving a heat transfer study without connectors. But it tells us if we're using radiation, we don't need it. And so we'll go ahead and click off and start the meshing process. Again, it's going to solve the heat transfer study. And then when that's done, it will process the results. And because this takes a little bit of time, I'm going to pause during some of this time so that uh, it'll speed up the process of watching this video. And as it finishes up, you're going to notice uh, right away that the heat is coming from this particular wall. 
and that its hottest point is 141 degrees and its coolest point is 25 de uh, degrees centigrade. Now you'll notice the center block and in fact if we take a probe and we you know pick a face on that uh, center block you're gonna see that it's right around 41.4 degrees and the back side although its radiation uh, is is just a, a little bit cooler and then of course the back wall shows where the coolest points are in the model now if we close this what I like to do is to take this model and simply move it a little bit closer it was about 40 40 some degrees so if we rerun this and resolve and again I'm gonna pause until it comes back with the results just to save us some time but this block should be uh, a little bit warmer because it's closer to that radiations uh, so and you can see uh, the results again using the probe we pick that block and it's gone up about almost 30 degrees but about 28 27 or 26 that is so you can see that the closer the block gets to the radiation source the warmer that it's going to get um, actually and also one thing to point out is the back wall is still at around 28 or so centigrade now let's take a look at one other uh, thing that we can do here I'm gonna to switch to face select and I'm just gonna pick this face and I'm gonna move it up and remember this this kinda of acts as a wall is blocking the back side so you know if I pick these uh, side faces and pull them out a little bit it's going to block that's a little more than I need to do so let's just bring it in a little bit and now I'm going to resolve again again it's going to act as a shading uh, of the back walls and so the more there is the more it's going to shade this back wall should cool off to some degree a little bit and you can see that that block is really absorbing most of the heat now as the back wall cools off seven eight eight uh, degrees centigrade so if I pull a probe off you'll see it's uh, 17 and then the block itself is uh, 62 or so so it's getting quite a bit of that heat um, radiation is um, is again one of the other options that we have uh, again we also support the radiation to space I don't have an example of that offhand but this kind of shows you how uh, radiation works and how it bounces off of the uh, off of the walls and uh, moves around through these electromagnetic uh, uh, you know radiation emitted by these uh, surfaces or bodies uh, so with that this concludes this demonstration